Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Commander Quickie. Today's game lasted almost two hours, while this abridged version shrinks it down to 26 minutes. I decided to keep in lots of banter for this one, so let me know if you enjoy it. Now let's introduce the players. First up we've got John, playing Saskia the Unyielding, a four color aggro deck that's all about rushing down opponents with huge creature beats. John mulls down to six and keeps a starting hand with Command Tower, Mana Confluence, Reflecting Pool, Somber Wild Sage, Torrens, Fist of the Angels, and Beast Within. Our second player is Johan, running Cathrill Aspect Warper, an Abzan Voltron deck that wants to fill the graveyard with keyworded creatures, load them up on Cathrill, and one-shot everyone with an untouchable commander. Johan keeps a hand with Overgrowth on Tomb, Silent Clearing, Indatha Triome, Esper Sentinel, Grim Flare, Dark Confidant, and Gisela the Broken Blade. Our third player is Ben, piloting Noyandar Royal Shaper, an Azorius Spellslinger deck looking to police the board before beating down with huge animated lands. Ben keeps a hand with Drownyard Temple, Hallowed Fountain, Plains, Sol Ring, Vanish into Memory, Factor Fiction, and Flood of Tears. Finally, I'm playing Toshiro Umazawa, a mono black spellslinger control deck that's all about murdering my opponent's creatures for value until I can reanimate all of them or finish off the table with a giant X spell. I keep a hand with two swamps, Polluted Mire, Price of Fame, Infernal Grasp, Liliana's Triumph, and Blood Pact. With our starting hands covered, let's hop into the game. I will play a Blood Crypt tapped and pass. I'll play a Indata Triumph tapped and I'll also pass. I will play a Hollow Fountain tapped and pass the turn. I'm gonna play a Polluted Mire tapped and pass. I will play Command Tower for turn and pass. Shock two for Overgrown Tomb. Then I will play a Grim Flare. Wowee. Yeah, Ooh. this is a nice dude. I will play Drown Yard Temple. I'll tap it for Soul Ring. Then I'll tap this to Foretell. Ooh. Oh boy. Mm. And I will pass the turn. What could it be? What a mystery. <laughs> play the last time we played. Swamp. I will pass the turn. I will play Reflecting Pool as land return. I will tap three and play Somber Walled Sage and pass. I'll play a Silent Clearing, and then I will tap this, lose a life, play an Esper Sentinel, and tap these two, play a Dark Confidant, Old Bobby. Oh boy, coming and in with the uh, Benny, coming at you for two. I will take two. Yes, sir. And then I look at the top three, put any of them in the graveyard, rest the back in any order. I will toss a Questing Beast and a Adorn Pouncer in the Grave, and keep one on top. Pass turn. I'll play a Plains for my land for turn. I'll play a Search for his Kenta and pass the turn. Would you like to pay one? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Play a Swamp, pay two mana to cast Liliana's Triumph, and I'm going to pay Ooh. one for Esper Sentinel. You got it, pause. Mm. I'll take Esper Sentinel. All right, then I'll pass. Okay, so my land for turn will be Mana Confluence. I will play Sky Shroud Claim. I will search for a Bayou and Savannah. I'm going to play an Arcane Signet and pass. On top of keep. Bob, it's a land. Oh, nice. It's a uh, Nurturing Peatland, and then I will drop a turn. I'll play the Nurturing Peatland. Tap these two to play three visits. Get a forest. Look at these guys searching their libraries. I'll get a tumble Where's garden. My opposition agent. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> I'm just an honest boy getting getting lands. I took it out of the deck. I didn't want to deal with it in webcams. Oh yeah, that sounds brutal. <laughs> but when we're when it's back to in person, it goes right back in. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I'll move to combat. Tomer, I'm gonna take you for two with the Grim Flare. That's fair. I'll take two. Sounds Get good. Then I'll do the Grim Flare effect. I'll put a Miri in the graveyard. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. I will untap, upkeep. I'll trigger the search for his Keta. I'll leave it on top and then I'll draw it. Tap the Soul Ring to play an Azorius Signet. And then I will pass the turn. I'm going to play a Swamp. And I'm going to pay four to cast Crypt Gas. Oh. Spicy boy. Spicy. Does it get a counter? Uh, no, it'll resolve. 
Yay. All right, and I'm done. I Pass too will allow it to resolve. <laughs> Me <laughs> as well. Look, I've got God by Manatide many a time, all right? I respect it. All right. Let's see if anyone has shenanigans. No one would dare. <laughs> okay. Wait, did you play land? I will. Uh, I was going to play a land second. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, sorry. We can make <laughs> second guess. <laughs> no, 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 I was, just, I, was, I, I was looking away, and then I looked up, and I was like, did you play land for, like, the recording purposes? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not playing a land on main phase one? That's so cringe. What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what is this try hard stuff? <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> I will uh, attempt to cast my commander. Who are you going to pick? I will. I have to wait until... Oh, it's an ETV, right? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. I'll allow it. <laughs> Who are you going to uh... pick? <laughs> <laughs> As the resolve, man. If you counter it, you're going to make a very strong enemy. I will let it resolve. Ooh, okay. I will also then let same. it resolve. Same, big same. All right, so the person I am choosing will be Tomer. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> killing it then. <laughs> <laughs> so I, actually, I will play a land for turn. I won't wait till second main. Uh, I will play an Urborg. All your lands tap for black. Oh, you bless me. No longer will I need to take one damage for these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> play... Adeline Resplendent Cathar. So Saskia has haste. Uh, Saskia will attack Ben. And uh, I have attack triggers. So I have uh, three humans. I will block one of the human tokens with the Crypt Gas. All right, I take five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, untap, Bob. Oh, another land. What are the odds? Wow. Bayou. That's actually sick. Um, yeah, okay, I'll play a Bayou to play a fiend artisan uh and then i will tap four to play a nice lady gisella the broken blade uh and then i will go to combat ben to you no blocks ben got any Sweet. wipes <laughs> uh try to get there <laughs> i will put all three of them in the graveyard so it's a tainted field a written catacombs and a birds of paradise cool. and then i'll pass the turn all right i will end of turn delirium back. is active by the way now I will pick you, Johan. Sounds good. Find a board wipe. Find a board wipe. Find a board wipe. Find... Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Non... Just a couple of land. It is a land. absent falconer and a deep analysis, a myriad landscape, a dark steel citadel, and an island. The uh, myriad landscape and falconer and the the indestructible land in one. And then the other two can go together. Okay, I'll take this pile. So I take the Dark Steel Citadel, the Myriad Landscape, and the Absent Falconer, and I ditch the Island and Deep Analysis. I'll untap for my turn, uh, trigger the Search for Escanta. I'm going to put it into the graveyard. It's a Lazatep plating. And then I will draw for turn. I think I just have to buy time. So we'll play a Myriad Landscape tapped. Chat's going to misplay me. All right, we'll play Flood of Tears. Wow, what a scrub. <laughs> I don't even know what you did. <laughs> Okay, so it returns all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If I return four or more non-token permanents, put a permanent onto the battlefield, which oh, I'm only you're, returning. You're one away. <laughs> yeah, but their boards are very threatening. Yeah. <laughs> ah, perfect. Back to seven cards in my hand. Uh, so I have to go to discard. Let's discard uh, Tomic Distinguished Advocate, and then I will pass the turn. I'm going to pay three mana to cast uh, Blood Pact, targeting myself. To draw two cards and lose two life. I'm going to discard down to hand size. Discarding Gravebreaker Lamia. And pass. <laughs> Who wants to take the Saskia? I don't think anyone's uh -huh. lining up to be a volunteer. <laughs> What's but that? I'll, I'll do it Johan? for you, buddy. I'll do it for you. <laughs> if you really want, I'll be the... <laughs> All right. Um, I'll play a land for a turn. Tap to play Arcane Signet. I will play Saskia. So I will take one from my Mana Confluence. I will play Adeline. Oh, sorry, with uh, Saskia. Uh, Saskia will choose... Ah, uh, yeah, Johan. <laughs> Sounds good, Poppy. Enter combat. Ben, I will swing at you for three and Adeline triggers. I shall pass whenever you guys are ready. I will play a Underground Stadium play a Grim Flare, and I'll play Gisela again, and then I'll pass turn. 
It's like I did nothing. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. I didn't get to draw an extra card this turn. I will draw yeah. for turn. You soiled me. An extra land. I'm out oh. of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will play a Dark Steel Citadel for my land for turn. I will tap it to play the Soul Ring. I'll tap the Soul Ring to play the Arcane Signet for the Star Tours Kanta. And we will pass after that. I'm gonna cast Vampiric Tutor. Wow, that's a magic card. Can you guess what I'm getting? Damnation. A land <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> respectable <laughs> respectable <laughs> respectable by the way by the way next three cards we're not gonna be land so <laughs> a calculated play yeah all right untap draw the cards that i put on top hooray oh what do you know it's a cabal coffers which is a swamp now thanks to urborg all right you gotta watch out for the mana activate burn activate cabal coffers so three mana to make five mana. Wait. Yep. Okay, there you go. And now, now that I have five mana, I'll play Jet Medallion. So now I have three mana. Crypt Gas. So oh, now no. I, uh, Crypt Gas is one less because of Jet Medallion. And now my all my swamps tap for uh, double. And oh, yep. I'm gonna pop off a little bit more. Tendrils of Agony. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is Vintage Q, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mind Stone, and then I will pass the turn. All right, let's do some damage. Please, no. You're blockers. I'm tired of getting attacked through <laughs> you. It's only happened once, but it's I don't, I don't like it. Once. <laughs> I don't. I'm sick of it. It's not my fault. I missed the land drop, and then I misplayed horribly. You know, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage can I do? So leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You have to bring out the calculator for this one, G. <laughs> so Saskia will come at Ben and Adeline will come at Tomer. Hmm, interesting. And these three initial will go at Ben and then we have three extra. So and one goes at each of us. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. right. I have a response. Loss. Uh price of fame targeting Adeline. Oh, and I, I extort, by the way, with uh, Crypt Gas. That's fine. So Adeline will die. Yep, I have no blocks. I'll block your token with Gisela. I'll block sure. a token with Crypt Gas. Okay, so second main phase, I will play Dr. John Stewart, and I will play a land for a turn. Go ahead. Uh, just to speed this up, I'll crack the Myriad landscape while you do your turn. Sounds good. I'll play and I'll crack a marsh flats. Get a goblin shrine. Johan, you're going crazy with that life loss. It'll make people attack me less, right? If my health's lower, that's the strategy. Uh, yeah, you always hit the highest health <laughs> I will. That's why I always take eight from Silver Library every turn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not the threat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll play the Bob again or the Dark Confidant. Fiend Artisan once more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go to combat. Oh boy, here we go. John, I'll just send this nice 4-4 four, four at you. Go yeah. on. That's it. No no, no <laughs> tricks, no games. Just a nice, wholesome 4-4. Four, four. I will go to 33. Sounds good. All right, I'll do his ability. And then I'll pass after that one. Okay, let's see if I can start doing stuff. Trigger the search. I'm putting uh, two lands in the grave. It's a Savannah and a Misty Reinforced. Savannah, uh, na, na, let's na. ditch the Prairie Stream into the graveyard. Uh, this flips the search for its canto. Play a planes for my land for turn. And then I'll top five to cast Noyandar Royal Shaper. Welcome. Wow. The boy is out. Yeah. He's on and the loose. And then we'll pass the turn. Woo. Four, five. All right. Starting the party. Untap. <laughs> and so it begins. Uh, during your upkeep, uh, Tone, oh. I will tap three. And play Beast Within, targeting your Crip Gas. Um, okay. Crip Gas dies, and I get a 3-3 three, three token. Oh uh, yeah. That's a good-looking beast. Thank you. Is that me and his, uh, his graphs? Graphs? <laughs> I tried to draw a boar, but then I was like, I don't know how to draw a boar, so I'll draw a pig. <laughs> you can kind of, it has a snout a little bit. I tried to do the nose. Oh, I thought that was a mouth. Yeah, no, it's, it's a failure all around, but... Um, tap, make five mana... Uh, I'm going to pay two of that mana to cast Toshiro. 
Oh, the boy's out. Yeah. The boy is here. So I have two floating. I'm going to cast Dark Petition. And you have Spell Mastery, like, for sure. I right? do. I'm going to search my library for a card and uh, put it into my hand and shuffle. And then I get back three mana. All right, so I look for this. I'm going to cast Promise of Power to draw five cards and lose five life. I will play my land drop for the turn. It's a swamp. Uh, I will pass the turn. It's a very honest turn. Draw five. <laughs> Look, Upkeep. That's what I'm here to play magic. Uh, I'm here to draw cards. <laughs> I don't really care about the rest of the, <laughs> this, this, this whole issue of winning or winning. <laughs> so I'm here to just assemble keywords onto creatures. Yes. Can you, I can just you wanted... assemble Brazella? I would be very happy. How happy he's, would you be? He's Honest, done it before. Money. Definitely at least an eight. I'll do my darndest for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said hey. I could stop it? I'd do my darndest for you to stop it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play a creature card called Beast Wild oh my Beast Master. Goodness. And because I cast a creature, I create a creature with um, training. Okay. Now I will enter combat. Uh, we will swing all at Ben. Oh. I... <laughs> Oh, sorry, this has vigilance. You really um, want to pull the instance out of his hand, do you? I respect <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, so I have a training trigger. So when this attacks, uh, it gets a 1-1 one -one counter. I will block Dr. John Seward. OK, so how much am I taking? Seven. seven. And that means Johan is also taking seven. You'll regret this. Uh, yes, so I will pass the gas. Or okay. you got a bus on tap. I hope I don't take a billion damage off my Bob. I'm just for it. How? Oh, I think I think I grimmed it last turn. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'll play a forest. Sense. Yeah, you know what? For funsies, I'll tap nine. What? <laughs> Is he doing it? Is he <laughs> I'll use I'll use Fiend Artisan's ability. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god! Oh. What do I have in the graveyard? I don't have trample in the graveyard. All right, later, later, Grimmy. Okay, <laughs> so if I want to, yeah, want you have to, to respond now. I have to respond now. Yeah, and then I can choose whatever I want to get. <laughs> okay. So uh... Don't foretell me, Ben. I know, I know the foretell you have. Don't do it to me, please. <laughs> not here, not yet. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's just have fun. It resolves. I'm just yes. going to respond to it by casting Entomb. In response to the Entomb, I'll activate as Kanta. Let's play a really fun card. I will get Equinox to my hand. I'm going to put Cabal Ritual yeah, to the graveyard. Perfect. I will now search my deck for an 8 cost or less. What? Man, she's a 7 cost. <laughs> Whoops. Woo. I'll swing John for 4 in the air. I shall take. Thanks, go I'll gain 4. Up. Okay, Perfect. can I go to my end step and then attempt fusion? So, so what's happening with the meld? Oh, during your end step, right? Yeah. They're flying up to the sky. Okay. Let's activate the foretell card. No! <laughs> Wouldn't it be much better if you did it to Catherell? Cast Mystic Reflection. I hate you. What are you going to pick? Whatever. It'll trigger Noyandar's ability, and I'll 3-3 three, three counters on the Janyar Temple. Yeah, so I'll, I'll target John's 1-1. One, one. Sure. These two cards are now a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Aw, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so we are going to untap for my turn. My greatest warrior. We're going to reduce to a baby. <laughs> okay, I will play a plains as my land for turn. So, hey Ben, since you since you did me dirty, could you could you do me a solid and deal with the the thing that's killing us both? Uh, I can't. I'm drawing the wrong half of my deck. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I need you. Okay, I will cast one. Equinox. The heck? Or I will enchant. I guess we'll enchant the Dark Steel Citadel. I think I'm just going to have to pass for now. I will play a swamp for my turn. And we're going to start by tapping the Cabal Coffers for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I'm going to spend one of that mana to cast Infernal Grasp targeting Noyandar. Okay, I will. Free cast Flawless Maneuver. Ooh. Okay, so Noyandar will trigger when I cast a spell. Yep. I will put plus one plus one counters on this planes. Okay, I'm going to cast uh, Dark Ritual. I'm going to cast Torment of Hailfire for X equals 11. Okay, uh, in response, I'm going to activate the Azkanta 
to look at the top four, find Arcane Denial. Cast Arcane Denial in response to the Torment of Hailfire. Uh, trigger the Noyandar. I will put three counters on the Jonyar Temple. Okay, uh, so it's it's countered, and then I will pass the turn. Uh, All right, during... I got two cards out of the hand. That was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good? Yeah, that was pretty solid. Uh, during John's upkeep, uh, the Arcane Denial will trigger. Yes, yeah, so I draw two cards, you draw one. I will play Unnatural Growth. Whew. Oh no. Oh god. That's a good card. Any counter spells? No, no, no responses. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, the oh, Hellfire's yeah, looking wild, pretty good now. Beastmasters, uh, <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should just let the Torment of Hailfire resolve. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, who wants to do math for me? Nope. Who, That's your job. Chose, you chose this. <laughs> Whoever does math for me, uh, I won't kill them. Mm. You, you do what you, you gotta, gotta do. I, I feel uh, like I don't have a say because no matter who you attack, I, I end up dying. Okay, we will swing all at Tomer. Uh, okay. Training trigger. Yeah, so all my one ones are four fours. And then this one is five fives. Five five. So yes. I'll block Saskia and the five five. How much damage is that then? That's sixteen. Oh. Uh, tw- I would take twenty. Yeah. So I would live. I die. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I have to do that though. Okay. Uh, so I'll block. I'll trump block uh, Saskia and um one of the uh, the training one, and I'll take twenty. Yeah. Um, so Tashira dies, the pet, uh, the token dies, and I go down to four. Before your end step, so in your main phase two, I'm going to vanish into memory my Drown Yard Temple. I will exile the Drown Yard Temple and draw six cards. Okay, and then at the beginning of my next upkeep, it'll return to play, and I will discard cards equal to its toughness, which is zero. Is zero. Trigger on the Noyandar. I'll just put it here. I'll untap, upkeep. My Drown Yard Temple will come back. Okay, I will play an Island for turn. I'll tap two to cast Impulse. Trigger the Noyan Dar. Give it to the Darksteel Citadel. And then I will cast Abzan Falconer. I'll tap three, and I'm going to Generous Gift your Unnatural Growth. And then trigger the Noyan Dar. I will put three counters on the planes. And then I'll swing at you for nine. And then after you take your nine, I will pass the turn to Tomer. I'm going to play a uh, uh, Thespian pop, pop. stage. Crack Mind Stone, draw a card. Activate Cabal Coffers for eight. Spend four of it to recast to Shiro. Uh, spend two uh, to cast Arcane Signet. Use Thespian stage's ability to copy the Cabal Coffers and then pass it. I'm going to play Esper Sentinel. Uh, in response, rapid <laughs> hybridization, the wild beast master. Uh, trigger Noyandar. And uh, trigger Sashiro. I guess I will animate my planes. I'll target the planes. Sean, who are you going to be attacking this turn? Uh, 100% Ben. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, let's 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 do this then. I'm going to use Tashiro's ability to cast uh, Liliana's Triumph from my Grave Iron. Before it resolves, sorry, sorry, before it resolves. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this I'll, I will counter with the unwind. Uh, then that will also trigger Noyandar. Uh, uh, okay, so good news is that I think if you attack him and I get more death triggers, I might be able to wipe out his board. I will enter combat. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I want to see more of Tomer's deck, so we'll swing wide at Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, training trigger. I guess we'll block your commander with the 9-9. Nine, nine. We'll block a 3-3 three, three with the indestructible. Okay, the Drowner Temple will block the other 3-3, three, three, and then this will block a 1-1. One, one. So I'll take 3. Yes. And then and... my Drowner Temple and Absent Falconer will die. Mm-hmm. So how many things die? So uh, six total things. So step one, cast uh, Cabal Ritual for one. Would you like to pay one for <laughs> no. Esper's Sentinel? You can have the card. I'm going to cast Entomb. So I'm going to have four floating. It's going to be Cling to Dust. I'm going to cast Force of Despair, uh, exiling Undying Evil. So I'm going to store the Beast Token then into the battlefield this turn. And Esper Sentinel. Cling to Dust. I'm going to remove, get rid of Deep Analysis. Cast Dark Ritual. Thrilling Encore. Uh, Encore, floating one mana. 
uh, Esper Sentinel, I get the Wild Beast Master, and I get an Abzan Falconer uh, flashback blood pack uh, to draw two and lose two. That's okay, it. Okay, can I? That's can all I, I got. So that's that's, I that's the end of combat <laughs> step, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all. I'll play Judith on my turn. I will cast Saskia on yep. my turn. All right. I will untap. Top three, I will play Palomar Tidecaller. No! Uh, so... <laughs> More flying <laughs> nonsense. Yes, it is my backup Absent Falconer. Ah. Yeah. I'll then play a Lotus Field and I'll sack my two islands. I'm going to cast Snap, target your Saskia. So I will untap two and Noyandar will trigger. I'll activate as Kanta. I found. No non-creature, non-land cards. Oh. So three Boy. will go at Tomer in the air, and then everything else will attack John. So John, I'm coming at you for 21. Yeah, no blocks. I will block your Halimar with Judith. Yep, so going to damage, and okay, then so I'll... Tomer will die, and then I yeah. assume you're going to ping the Halimar yep. tide color. Yes. Uh, all you? Let's go. We'll play Growing Rights of Itlamok. <laughs> it's any creature, right? So we got a Path to Exile, so we'll play for Nature's uh, Lord. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> if I whiff on mine, you have to whiff on yours. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, okay, I will attempt to cast Saskia. I have no response to the Saskia. What? Okay, so one. He doesn't have settle record mana yeah. up. Uh, for the player, I will select you, Ben. Yup. We'll go to something. combat. It's gotta have something. Uh, Combat's good. Damage. It will be six times two. Yeah, the box. What? Hey, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I lost. Let's go. No! <laughs> Why did you have oh, a blocker? <laughs> I miscalculated. <laughs> let's go. Oh, GG, that's insane. What a way to win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, GG's that was boys. sick. All right, that was a sick game. I'm really happy that John Saskia deck managed to just barely close out the game as facing two control decks can't be an easy matchup for it. Saskia is one of the purest forms of combat in the format, and I'm happy to see it beat face so effectively here. Johan's Cathril deck got to show off some cool things as well, but unfortunately wasn't able to pop off with his commander. But let the record show that we played a second game after this one, and Cathril absolutely dumpstered the table, so don't think this commander is a joke, because it's certainly a powerhouse. Ben had a slower start, but really popped off with Noyandar by the end there and it's possible that he may have won the game if we caught the error with Halimar Tidecaller attacking. There is a ton of really cool and unique cards that Noyan gets to showcase, which makes me love the deck and want to try it out myself. Finally, my deck had a solid performance. I got to pop off with Toshiro a bit, and had some game-winning plays that were narrowly stopped by Ben's answers. And that's it for this Commander Quickie. We'll be back with another Quickie next week, so until next time friends, see ya!